what's up you guys? New comic book day. Today's Wednesday, November 26, 2014. Picked up six issues today. Uh, we're looking at Deathlock number two right over here. Uh, pretty cool looking cover, you know, didn't look too bad. Uh, this story is, this is Henry Hayes' is Deathlock and he's basically, he thinks that he's doing this whole, he's part of this government program called Medics Without Borders, but he's actually, you know, out doing missions as Deathlock and everything. So I thought that premise was pretty cool. I liked part one. Uh, this issue of part two, uh, it's okay, you know, we get some cool Deathlock action, but, you know, not my favorite read of the week, but not bad. Scarlet Spider is number one! Oh my god, this is part of the new Spider-Verse story arc that's going on, and I've been getting every single book. Uh, this was something I thought I was going to hate, but I actually like it, because you take one of the, my favorite things from DC Comics, which is their whole multiverse and the way they've structured that, and you bring it into Marvel Comics specifically with my favorite superhero, uh, I like it. What am I going to tell you? I, I like it. I think this is actually really cool. The only book I missed was uh, the Spider Team-Up, number one. And so I'm going to try to get that one. We also got Spider-Woman, number one. There's a lot of new spider books coming out. And basically, it looks like they're just making teams uh, going into the different areas of the Spider-Verse and trying to defeat or not get killed by the inheritors that are out trying to devour spiders. So that's what they do is they eat these spider people. So we have uh, Spider-Woman. I believe that's Spider-Woman, who's the clone of Peter Parker from the Ultimate Universe. Then we have Ben Riley, and then we have Kane right over there. So it's basically their adventure and everything, and I thought it was actually really neat. I like the way they structured the characters. I think this is actually a very cool read. And that takes us on to Spider-Man 2099. Similar thing going on, we get Spider-Man 2099, we get Lady Spider, which is, her name is Mae Parker, and she's from the year 1880 or something like that. Steampunk Spider-Woman, basically. And then you get the eight-legged Peter Parker Spider-Man over there. Uh, this was equally as cool. What impressed me about this book was um, we actually get to see how things uh, translate into the stories that have been already going on, because I've already been reading Spider-Man 2099, and I really like how you know it takes place in the future, and they haven't really lost track of what's been going on with the books until this whole Spider-Verse started. And then we get Superior Iron Man, which I really like a lot. This is cool. Now, it sounds really weird. I was explaining this premise to my wife, trying to tell her what happened, and basically what it is is... Iron Man lives in San Francisco now, so he's in San Francisco, he creates this app that makes everybody look beautiful. So he gave everybody this free app, now everyone's dashingly handsome or incredibly beautiful and slim and thin, and thin exactly the way they want to and everything. Now you gotta keep in mind this is all a tie-in to the Axis storyline, so the good guys are now bad and the bad guys are now good. So this is like an evil Tony Stark, he's drinking again, which is... You know, it's just cool seeing him evil and everything. Daredevil, who's already been in San Francisco, is seeing crime escalate because people want to get these apps so that they can keep... Now they can't afford the apps. So he gave them the free trial the first time, just like any good pusher does, and then charges a buttload, <laughs> pun intended, San Francisco, uh, that, you know, for the next payments, the monthly payments to keep it going, it's like $100 a month to keep it going. And I really like this book, too, because I like the artwork. I really like how Superior Iron Man looks, especially with the helmet on. They show him a lot without the face mask on, and they explain why. And then there's a, uh, yeah, there's a real uh, spoiler at the end that I'm not going to talk about. But, yeah, at the very end of this book, it's pretty interesting. Uh, if that looks like Sentry in a Superman costume, yeah, that's kind of funny looking. Uh, this is actually Ulysses. He's actually from Earth, but his, but his parents sent him off to a different dimension, I think the fourth dimension or something where he basically kind of, same reaction that Superman had coming to Earth where, you know, increased powers and all that stuff just from being in this different place and everything. And now, he thought Earth was destroyed, but now Ulysses has discovered that it's not because his rival is over there. So Superman and Ulysses kind of go different ways. Yeah, Ulysses wants to bring people back to his dimension and stuff, and Superman's not necessarily okay with that, so that's the story going on with that one. Good read. I like it. It's written by Jeff Johns, I think. Yeah, Jeff Johns. So, yeah, you cannot deny it. And then, here we go. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This is an awesome read. I love this book. Now, we're seeing, I think this is Angel right over here with her armor, and then we have Alapex right over there, even though this actually is mostly about Bebop and Rocksteady kicking ass. They kick so much ass. Bebop and Rocksteady are super cool. Spoiler, they, they, they whoop the crap out of the turtles minus Donatello and then they need the help of every single person they know to help them defeat Bebop and Rocksteady. Like everybody. Alapex, uh, Angel, uh, Hun, Slash, uh, Pigeon Pete, Herman the Hermit Crab, 
uh, Mondo Gecko. Like, there's a lot. It's like a basically a mutant army, and that's that is the story going on here with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It's a uh, mutant armies kind of gathering together and stuff like that. And I just think it's really really cool. Anyway, that's my comic book load for this week. I hope you guys dug it. Stay tuned till next time whenever I do this again. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.